Hi, Chip! Sorry, that was really loud. Hi, Chip. Welcome in! Can we get some... Yo's, I was here? Hi, hacker. Welcome in! Hi, guys. So many green chatters. Oh, wait. I am one of you. Who is excited for Mario Kart DLC Type 21? Pick on me, pick me. 9 plus 10, that is the correct answer. Good job, hacker. You will get an A plus today. six? No, doesn't two plus two equal fish? I remember some of the kiddos in school trying to pull that one. Because there is another two that was mentioned because of the government. <gasps> Isn't there like an Illuminati emote? I think there is. Let's see. Twitch Global. Okay, wait. I thought there was. Ayudame, donde esta? Emote. <laughs> I don't know. It's not. Wait, there it is. <laughs> why? Okay, why wasn't it showing up in my emote menu, Twitch, huh? What is going on? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I found it. Okay, I'm stalling. I need to be posting. Everybody needs to know that we're playing Mario Kart. How's my week been? Oh, I got big drama. But I'm going to stall as much as I can for my story times, because we are doing a blind react. I will be giving you guys an in-depth detail of jury duty. Why? Why is- Okay, is the font different for the chat on screen? Pause. Why is it like that? That's really gonna piss me off. Let's see, J-chat. The font is, like, silly. You got your driver's license? Ooh! Ooh, very nice. Do you have your own vehicle yet? Or are you gonna save up for that? Okay, I'm fixing the chat. Hold. Why is the font funny? That's so silly. Wait, why isn't it showing up? What? Oh no, is chat broken today? Please don't do this. 
Yeah, it was Comic Sans. Oh wait, I fixed it! I fixed it! Look! I fixed it! Look, now it's the adult Roboto font. Okay, let me let me just check that it's fine on all the overlays. Welcome in, Chip. Hi, Hacker. Thank you for chatting. Glad to see you guys. Using your dad's car? Ooh. Just don't bang it up, okay? You're gonna bump his insurance. Yeah, I'm, I'm checking all the chat overlays. <laughs> what, what if I just stream like this? <laughs> I miss streaming, guys. Oh, I didn't change this. Fire me. It's pink now. Oh, I didn't check this overlay. <clears throat> we'll, we'll fix this later. I don't know if we'll get subs today. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. It is Thursday, November 9th. If you're old enough to vote, did you vote on Tuesday? I did. I voted. <laughs> there was only one, like... And it was a very important time to vote because, you know, abortion rights should be protected. But there was only one ordinance for my county, and it was about, like, landlords. <laughs> so it was like, should there be more restrictions on landlords, and should it make- Should it be harder for them to evict people? And I was like, yes sir! Anyway, so this past week, I was on jury duty! So in order to be someone for jury duty, it's- randomly selected from anybody who has a driver's license a state id or if you register to vote i don't know if it's a multiplier but i i got summoned in 2020 in march so literally right before a pandemic so they canceled it so i got put back into the pool because anytime you're summoned we'll go into more details later for that specific story time but that's where i was the past few days um i was summoned monday tuesday and then i was on call wednesday and thursday so today, but I didn't have to go in today, so I get to hang out with you guys and react to the new Mario Kart DLC. Guys, say hello to YouTube because I will be editing this tonight. So everybody, hi YouTube, hi YouTube. Okay, what else happened? Um, that's the only drama. Peace I do jury duty, yeah. We'll get into that story time in a bit. Everybody say hi YouTube, hi YouTube. I'm wearing pajama bottoms today. Well, you don't know that. Okay, I'm, so, I'm just, like, so eager to talk. Because at jury duty, we weren't, like, allowed to talk to each other. So I was just sitting there for hours, like, saying nothing. 11-11, make a wish, make a wish. Okay. I'm, I'm done stalling. YouTube. I also- I have to take thumbnail screenshots at the end, so remind me, okay? Remind me. Today, we're- I'm going- God damn it. We- I- Today, I'm gonna to be doing a blind react to the new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 6 DLC. This is gonna be a mostly blind react. I haven't seen any of the new courses. I did get a little bit spoiler of the characters, unfortunately, because one- Editor, put it in now. I got spoiled during the most recent Nintendo Direct where I saw Diddy Kong. Oops. And then I opened Twitch last night. And other people were streaming it early, which I think is an L. I don't like when people stream shit early. I already cursed. That's one. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to curse less, but it's not working. I opened Twitch. Everybody was playing early, so I saw some of the characters in people's thumbnails of their streams. And then when I looked at the promo art that was released today, like, it literally showed all the new characters. And I was so annoyed, because usually it'll show, like, the actual tracks, not the characters. So I was like, dang it. Anyway, so, blind react to the tracks. Yeah, everybody get a cursing count on screen. Put it in your little notepads. It came out at 6 last night? Is that true? I think you're lying. Why would it come out at 6 p.m. last night? Oh wait, if you're like different times. Anyway, anyway, let's let's play some Mario Kart. <clears throat> okay, so as usual, 150 CC, just so I can learn the tracks. Ooh, let's see. 
So we have Peach Ent. This is from the new game, right? This is the only one I didn't... I literally had no idea that this was going to be an option. Like, I had guesses. Like, obviously, Diddy Kong, I got spoiled. Funky Kong, if they didn't bring him back, I would have legit rioted. Pauline? Holy moly! My favorite. Why is there new memes? Anyway. But I have, like, literally no guess about the Peach Ent. I want to start off with Diddy Kong, because I like the lighter set characters. Montimo was robbed? You know, nobody cares about him. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I'm not going to look. I'm squinting. I'm, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. We're in. Pauline wasn't already in Mario? I mean, she's only really had appearances in... The original like arcade game and then an odyssey and then there's like other illusions but this is like is this the first time you actually get to play as her acorn cup roam avanti why are there so many like city tracks i hate this please also hi ryan can we get some yo's okay i missed the boost oopsie Okay, this I assume is going to be another non-looping. Because whenever you see these arrows on the walls, that means it's going to loop around a different way. Wait, this looks like the- oh my god, no way I fall off already. This kind of looks like the layout for the team mode that's in the big arena. Okay, just look- oh wait, this building is cute. Just looking at all the textures, they don't look as nice as other levels. Ooh, okay, so there's a section you can fly up. Still lap one. Okay, so we came back to the start here. <laughs> oh, ain't no way I lapped him. Oh my god. Okay, that line was a bit difficult. Oh, what is this? Okay, that BS. I like how in some city tracks. <laughs> oh, wait, cut? Secret? The peace and skip? I don't like how in some of the city tracks you can like run into players going the opposite direction. It just gives me anxiety. Ooh, Chain Chomp. Oh! <laughs> that should <not> scared me. <laughs> I wonder if that statue is of a slave owner. <laughs> I almost said, is that the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> Dude, I'm so bad at geography, like, genuinely. Easy first place. This one was Eid. Like, the lighting, since it's at nighttime, very dark, and, like, the actual light from the buildings and the environment didn't lighten it up. <laughs> Literally lighten it up and up, in my opinion. I, I really like warmer levels. This one, aesthetically, eh. I feel like the some of the lines were, like, BS. Like... You're going straight and they have to make like a Batman 90 degree turn. Imagine I quit. <laughs> this one was Ait. Okay, let's see what's next. Toad's Factory. Toad's Factory. Please. Please. Ooh! DK Mountain? This one was one of my favorites on the Wii. I also, like, gaslit myself for the longest time that DK Summit was DK Mountain. And I totally forgot about this track until I saw people doing the, um, Dug Dug Challenge, where it was- where it spliced together different Wii maps. Okay, aesthetically, this one is prettier. Very saturated. I love it! Classic. 
DK Mountain is better than Dino Dino Jungle? I don't know what that is. But if you're talking about this track, then I don't think we can ever be friends. Even though you're like my longest returning viewer, that is like an ick. That is an ick to me. This one had better not be a looping track. It can't be, right? Sniping! Oh, this visual! Oh wait, it is looping! I thought- Wait! I thought it didn't loop! I think this track would be a lot more interesting if the paths themselves were, like, skinnier. Because since the paths are so wide, it's not super challenging. Like, this one is chill. Oh, I didn't realize the terrain was off here. Oh, these boulders? Absolutely the worst. I would legit get so mad playing on the way. on these before? I can't remember. We oh, can trick. Okay. Nice. Bridge, it like plays music like a xylophone we're gonna listen because that would be a really cute touch kind of like how when you're doing the um oh what's the music wait there is a half pipe there am i clueless that was i don't think that was there before right that was not there maybe i'm blind i do need new glasses okay let's listen Oh, it just sounds like wood. It would have been cute if they had like a xylophone sound. Music Park, that's what the track was called. Like when you run on the piano keys. That would be a really nice touch. Next race. Toad's Factory, please. Please? I was begging for this one. This one was a sleeper track. I forgot about this one as well, but I love this one. Oh, the road is also kind of purpley too. Do you think Luigi and Daisy Smash? Oh yeah, the baby statues too. Yeah, I don't like that part. Okay, this track is very simple. I do hope there are alternate paths. Let's see. I'm in! Oh, it's so slow! Oh my god! See, that was kind of not worth it. Only really worth to go if you have a boost. I believe they could have made this one look better. Hmm, let's analyze. Enhance. I think the issue is that they still make a lot of the environment look kind of blocky, in my opinion. 
like so even if they're like remaking an older level i think it would be nice if they used like more like realistic looking models i know this part here very bright because i think the realistic lighting looks kind of off with like these older looking models because the models don't like reflect the light properly, I think is the best way to say it. Oh, so bad. <laughs> also, this part, I don't know which is better to go on the booze or just go for the intersection. I don't think it's worth to go on these upper platforms at all because you're not getting like a tire line. Okay, I think Nostalgia made this one better than I remember. Or maybe just the Switch port wasn't as good. I don't know. Hmm. Next. Toad's Factory Police! Oh, is this one new? Piranha Plant Cove. It doesn't say it's ported from a different game. I like the underwater levels a lot. Final race. Oh, I didn't, I didn't go for the boost. Is there a Mario Kart Tour? Are there no original levels? I'm going for the rat, because rat is rat. Ooh, I like how it's underwater and above ground terrain. Oh, there's a little wooden swing. Long track, too. Okay, normal looping so far. <laughs> wow. Wait, this is new. It's what? completely non-looping. Watch this. Hey. Don't clip it. Please. Okay, I don't think getting air helps too much. God. Why so many jump scares? How long is over? Oh, I thought he was like screaming in anger, but I got first. I'm good. Okay, Acorn Cup? Some were disappointed, like some of the ports weren't the best, but I, I really like the last track. Definitely the most visually interesting. I think the most interesting lines that were like too confusing. Very nice.
I just wanted to see the trophy. Okay, next. Hmm. I think next I will try Polly. Because I don't like heavy set characters. Here we go. Wait, did she Is she like cross-eyed? Here we go. Is she Why is her model like that? Are they- Are all the humanoid models like that? Let's go. Yeah, everybody's kind of cr- oh. <laughs> Everybody's kind of cross-eyed. No, okay, not that that's bad, it's just- It was off-putting to me. Go. Anyway. Okay, I'm not looking. Not looking. To be honest, I never noticed that. Me neither. But for her model, it was very noticeable. <laughs> well, hi, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Baby beans? If I have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Welcome in. Oh, why'd I put that? Exclamation yo. <laughs> wait, I missed it. What is this track called? I wait. I missed it. Shit. <laughs> I'm resetting. <laughs> I'm spamming. Here we go. Okay, let's try again. 150. Pauline. She, her, and beans? Okay, got it, boss. Feel free to chat, lurk. Whatever makes you happy, man. Welcome in. Okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I think that's the right one. I saw the icon. It was Shell Cup. I didn't see anything else, though. Spiny cup? What is it called that? Madrid Drive. Oh my god, I'm learning Spanish, actually. Why is it called the Spiny Cup? That's legitimately so silly. And Polly's hair is pretty. Okay, the music? Already goes crazy. What am I doing? She sounds just like Peach. Wiggler? I feel like he's gonna wake up. <gasps> Coconut Mall. I thought we were gonna go into like a greenhouse the moment I saw the palm trees inside. Museo? Oh, that's cute! The Brana out of the painting. I love that. Okay, I think this so far is one of the better city tracks. Oh, now we're on the road? I'm gonna drive through the city on my little moped. Hair blue shell. Oh, we should have microphone. That was cute. Do that again. But where, where did she pull that out from? <laughs> Holy Pauline's animations! Oh my god, she's my favorite. She's always been my favorite. You know, I like brunettes. Classic.
Okay, this last lap ain't too interesting so far. It's mostly road. A football! Another blue shell? What is going on? <laughs> Almost there. Okay. I think this is the best city track. Most, like, city environments, you actually get got to go through more buildings. I like this one a lot. Welcome in, <laughs> mother. Um, can we get some Mio's first time chat? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Welcome in. Tour tracks on 200cc are literally hell. I agree, but like once you memorize the lines, I find they're a lot easier. Right now I'm doing 150 because that's how I usually practice. But once we get all the 150 done, I will do 200 today. Okay, Toad's Factory, please. I've never seen this. Rosalina's Ice World? Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's like Mario Galaxy. Okay. I will never play Mario Galaxy on stream again. I'm sorry. I didn't like it. You know... Oh, this lot. Okay, that was really fun. I love the tight The tight turns! <laughs> Best track in all of Mario Kart? Really? Okay. Let's see. Like, this one... Oh, shoot. Terrain wise? Is definitely a lot more difficult out of all that we've seen today. Ooh, two pads. Have I played Mario Wonder? Yes, I have. The past few streams I've done have in Mario Wonder. And I will be continuing it um, probably next week, because tomorrow I'm going to be playing Suica game for eight hours straight. Yes, sir, not a lie. Playing Suica game for the first time ever. But my sister and my roommate have completely beaten Mario Wonder. <laughs> and I'm just here waiting to play it on stream. Okay, underwater. Hey, look at him go! <laughs> okay, this track I feel like will go crazy on 200cc. Like, this one is probably legitimately super fun. Oh, there's a skip there. Okay, skip at the very end. I gotta remember. You're saving up to play Mario Wonder? Totally valid. Like... <laughs> They were playing in the living room, so I had to avoid the living room the whole weekend as they were playing. They played for like- Oh, okay, this part so dumb. I don't like that part at all. What am I doing? <laughs> if I wanted to go to the skate park, I would. Um, they played for like six hours straight on Saturday. So I had to avoid the living room all day. <laughs> Secret? Okay, that didn't feel much faster. And that line was a bit more difficult. Oh, I guess you get a bit more boost here. Oh. Oh my god, stop. That was so bad. I didn't think it would have like a grass texture there. Even if it was snow. Okay, this one, most interesting. Viney cup, best cup by far today. First two are bangers. <laughs> That's so real of them. To play for six hours and not have me go in the living room all weekend? I think it's more of an L. <laughs> Next race. Toad's Factory, please! I'm still gonna call it the Blue Shell Cup? I know. I know. Oh my god, dude. Wait, this is not... Is this a different... Wait, is this a different Bowser's Castle? I've only played Mario Kart on the Wii, so whenever I see one that looks familiar, I'm like, oh my god, it's the same one. But then half the time, it's not. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so scared. What am I doing? Legitimately, what am I doing? <laughs> I wanted to look cool! Oh, I think that's the first anti-gravity bowl? Pachinko bowl I've seen today? Oh my god, I'm correct! Flawless! Okay, this one? Super fun. Nothing beats Spiny Cup. I think this is my favorite today. Also, since it's a Bowser level, I feel like I have to be dialed in. Okay, I just wanted to see if something was there. Spoiler, there is not. Okay, that's actually kind of difficult to get on. Not saying that the first time was a fluke, but it was not. I wonder if you can get hit by the fireballs that are in there. I think they're a bit too high to even clip you. <laughs> Dodge like a pro. Okay, so I probably think the leftmost pass is faster there. I feel like with every Mario Kart update, they make the noise more annoying. Or <laughs> they make the items more annoying. I can't tell. Honestly, I can't tell. The only thing I truly care about is not getting coins in first place. And I feel like I'm getting less coins when I'm in first. Are you gonna be really mad if Toad's Factory isn't the last one? Yes, I'm gonna legit be very mad. No joke. Final one, Toad's Factory, please! Please! What? I I I don't see a factory. Oh, the music though. Okay, I'm not gonna think about Toad's Factory. I'm going to enjoy this race. Oh, the path is so pretty. It has like this grainy texture to it. It looks like candy. What am I doing? Oh, this line right here made me so mad as a child. This one? Oh, there's anti-gravity here. Gage. Um, rat is rat. <laughs> okay, so normal looping. This is just as I remember it, but a lot easier now. Maybe because I'm not doing motion controls? Dude, if I ever have to do motion controls, I will legit lose my mind. It's so incredibly difficult. I don't understand how people prefer to do motion controls. Holy moly, Pauline. I'm gonna break way too much. There's no way I can't tell it's 150. It seems so slow in my opinion. This track is so fun in 200. I know, I cannot wait. Usually whenever I play offline, I will just do 200. Because like, whenever you play offline, it's just computers. 
Like, I do feel like the computers have gotten better. Like, some of them are, like, actually mean. Like, they will actually snipe you with banana peels and stuff. Because I think 200cc offline is similar enough to 150cc online. Because whenever I play online, there's always, like, a little bit of delay and it seems faster. And also, whenever I do get, like, a 200cc online match, I'm, like, ready. <laughs> the, com <laughs> the CPU clocks me all the time in these new tracks. I mean, we'll see how I do. Because I think the biggest thing with Mario Kart is just, like, memorizing the actual level. Oh, wait, was she singing? That was cute. Guys, should I do a Pauline cosplay type one? I wanted to try- <laughs> Do the animation! I burned a lot. I'll try to do a skip. Oh my god, it's so scary! I forgot about the animation. No, come on! First L of the day. Is there really no Toad's Factory? Really? Guys, I'm gonna be really mad. <laughs> Grr, Nintendo, why is there- Okay! I thought there was gonna be Toad's Factory because I opened my Nintendo Switch and you know how it has like the news in the left panel? I dead as swear number two. I thought I saw like a screenshot of Toad's Factory and I was like, oh my god, I don't want to look at the article now because I'm gonna see Toad's Factory. But there was no Toad's Factory. But we did get. Okay, just looking at all of the tracks in this pre, I feel like they're all bangers. Um, Madrid Drive mid, but one of the better city tracks. Spiny Cup, best cup. When it's purple. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is cool. Oh, staff credits for the actual DLC. I'll read out the names. Hideki Kono, Kasuke Yabuki, Yasuyuku Oyagi, Shun Utsugi Miyuki Kimura, Shinya Nakano, Kento Katayama. Oh, there's too many. I, I can't. Guys, I'm Japanese. Okay, so... Oh wait, that's like washi tape. That's cute. Okay, this is a lot cuter than the actual normal cutscene sequence. Like, this is when you watch an animated movie and then the credits show, like, concept art instead of official art. The music change? Okay, this music is from a city track, I know. What if there's a secret bonus race at the end of the credits? <gasps> Imagine. Okay, because you know what? Like, most every, like, platform or Mario game, like, you beat all the levels, you get all the secrets, you get a secret world or a secret level. What if? What if there is a secret Mario Kart level? And it's Toad's Factory. <laughs> that would be so cool. Imagine. Devs, get on it.
Wait, everybody in the little video is Birdo. <laughs> Why? Is this music from a track? Or is this like original? It doesn't sound familiar at all. Or maybe it's from this tree. I don't remember. Wait, Pauline has a dress? Hold. How do we get it? Oh, all the little logos. Coconut Mall. Medley? Yeah, I figured it was a medley. But some of them didn't sound familiar at all. Wow, look at us. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you. I like that a lot. Dude, I heckin' love Mario Kart. Okay, final thoughts. All right. I'll queue up as Peachette. Final thoughts on this DLC. Let's do... Okay, so Agron Cup, honestly, don't cancel me mid. Oops. <laughs> the Rome track, eh. DK Mountain, good, but not as good as I remember. Daisy Circuit, nostalgia, underwhelming as frick. Do better. Piranha Plant Cove, I don't know, I assume it's a new track. If it's from Tor, it doesn't say it's from Tor. But I liked it, but it doesn't stand out too much. Very good for an underwater level. Also, thank you for the prime sub mother. <laughs> Do you want me to call you mother? <laughs> thank you. Can we get some... Can we get some weathers in jet? <laughs> but thank you, Han. I appreciate it. Thank you for resubscribing with Prime. Thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes. I can't. Okay, um, they're serving. I don't want to call anybody a mother, though. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. We goofy gaff. Um, I know you're new to chat, so at the end of stream, anybody who subscribes does get their name written in a little calligraphy journal, just to give you a bit more recognition. If you want to see pictures, mother, um, there's a link in chat. Okay, continue on. Thank you for the prime. First time sub. Spiny cup, I mean, blue shell cup. Very, very good. Most every single track was a banger, and I feel like they got better as they went on. Majid Drive, definitely one of the better city tracks. I liked how it was similar to... Where is it? It was similar to Bangkok Rush, in my opinion, where it was like less actual road tracks and like more going through the actual like downtown or city area so i thought that was really fun where's the latest ice world i've never seen it very fun 
I feel like that track would go crazy at 200cc. Bowser's Castle? Scary. I was shaking in my boots, but very fun. I think this is the best Bowser level. And then Rainbow Road from the Wii? Very nice. I enjoyed it. Definitely a lot easier, easier on the Switch port than the Wii port. Okay, so that wraps up my blind react to the final... Sadly, no... No Toads Factory. <laughs> that wraps up my blind react to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Wave 6 Final DLC. After looking at all the DLC for the past year, I'm so glad we got more content. If you just look at these thumbnails, like from the tracks, you can see like... Like the thumbnails from the first ones look more simple, like composition-wise. I don't know. Anyway, I went to art school. I'm kind of sad that it's over. But you know, at least we got more Mario Kart. I am praying we get more Mario Kart. Like a whole new game soon, please. Hey! I'm back, guys. If you hear me, type 33. Type 33 if you hear me. Also, my 7TV emotes aren't working. I don't know why they're not working. 7TV has been glitchy as frick. Thirty-three, thirty-three. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Also, welcome in Waldo guy. Can we get some yo's? First time chat. Welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. And if you want to lurk, that's a-okay. We love lurkers. Okay, 7TV is not working. It's just literally not working. You like the Los Angeles laps track? Really? Ooh, I, ooh. Not my favorite IMO, honestly. Honestly, not my favorite. Okay, guys. Blind React over mods, change the title. Now we'll keep the title. <laughs> we'll keep farming. Okay. Now we're gonna do some classic story times. Guys, AMA, ask me anything. Anything. Minus like three things and I will answer truthfully. Story times. I went to jury duty this week. I have a lot of little <laughs> tidbits and stories to tell you guys. So... Buckle up. It's gonna be a wild ride. Because <laughs> there's so there's almost there's like so much and then so little that happened like the past two days. I, that's the big reason. Because like even if I wasn't summoned yesterday, because I got summoned Monday and Tuesday, I did not want to stream yesterday. Because like I would have leaked. I would have leaked, which is illegal. Because how jury duty works is like you're summoned. It's random. It's whatever. But like you can't talk about it until you're like out of service. Like, you can't share any details about the case, you can't- You can talk about, like, serving, but you can't, like, give details. But now that I'm free, you guys get all the juicy drama. Okay, you know what else is juicy? Um, and Guys, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad-free viewing all month long, or- you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub free free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Guys, it's free. We already got a Prime earlier. Let's go! Can we get a million Primes today? I think we can do it. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. <clears throat> Hi, Kobobo! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Yeah, I'm going to double check to see if my emotes are working because we're going to stall for the ad, okay? Why is 7TV not working? Hmm. Peace I too. Hmm.
Okay, I... Because for some reason, the past few days, like, 7TV will just disconnect from my Twitch account. Oh, look! Hello? It's back! Oh my god, you've been live for an hour? Bruh. If you missed the notice, um, follow my Twitter. I post when I go live. Okay, emotes are back, everybody. Put your little pictures in chat. They work. I don't- I generally don't know why it's not working. I think it's because I had to install the most updated version of 7TV, so it's probably just glitchy as frick. Okay, I made a little list of what I'm gonna talk about today, but I'm like nervous. Cause... <laughs> no ad is coming through? Did I not run an ad? Omega Dance. Did I? I thought I did. Oh, I did. You just didn't get an ad. Lucky. Wait, did it say fail to start commission? Wait, let me check. Pause. I mean, Twitch was glitching the other day as well. I think it was- they posted about it not working on Tuesday. Let's see. Oh, I- I did run an ad. <laughs> it says I pre-roll off for an hour. Okay. That- you just got lucky. You didn't get an ad. You lucky little shit. I cannot leech my what? Half a penny? <laughs> you not seeing an ad? It's whatever. You got lucky. Okay. Maybe if you have a VPN. Oh, um, not- don't, guys. I need that ad revenue. I need that sweet 10 cents a month. Person got- wait, did I swear? I did not. I did not! Okay, let's play the game. <laughs> I love Mario Kart! I did not- did I swear? Oh, I called you- I did. I'm sorry. I was editing a VOD from March of this year. Clips from that stream will be posted in December. Um, <clears throat> but like, I was like, sh I didn't, I didn't say it. I was like goofing and gaffing with some of you guys a bit too hard one day. <laughs> oh wait, Peach, holy moly. Oh, this is 200. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what should I talk about first about Jerry Diddy? Um, Clips channel, you're gonna edit this into like a 15 minute video, got it? So me, me in the future, I will edit this down. So, I was summoned for Jury Duty this week. I was previously summoned back in 2023. Or, no, back in 2020 in March. So literally right before lockdowns and restrictions started happening. So, I was not actually summoned. Because they just cancelled um, in-person courts entirely. So, I was summoned for the first week of November. And it was kind of a bummer because for my county, like, you'll get a little blue slip in the mail. And they're like, oh, you must report this week. And for some reason, I moved. Like, I don't live in the same city as my parents anymore. So, like, when I moved, I filed all the proper paperwork to, like, have everything mailed to my new address. But for some reason... My jury duty slip got sent to my parents' house, so like, that was a whole debacle, like, getting that figured out. Um, for context, I've been no contact with my parents since I've moved out, just for, like, mental health reasons. So that was, like, uh, stressful. So, and for another context, I'm disabled. So, it's not that um, participating in jury duty would have been too much of a strain on my body. It was more like the mental stress, so I was like, eh, I will go just to experience it. And, like, legally, like, especially since it's, like, a, a public, like, city government establishment, they have to be, like, really accommodating. So if somebody needed, like, mobility assistance, they'd have to make most any accommodation. Um, so I wasn't worried about anything. So I was like, okay, I'll go. I won't get, like, a little slip saying I don't want to go for my doctor. So, how it works, I don't know, I, I feel like this is standard, but for my county, like, you have to call, like, this toll number the night before to see if you have to actually go. So I was summoned on Monday and Tuesday. So how any jury duty process works um, is you will be summoned and then you might get put into different potential juror groups and then they filter down the groups to 12 to 23 people depending on the size of the actual jury needed for the case. Um, so on day one, on Monday, 
it was very like annoying because we since it was day one they did like an hour orientation before it was actually supposed to start so we have to be there at eight instead of nine normally and when i got there it was fine like we had to do like normal like check-in like you know like tsa check where they do, where they scan your bags and then you walk through the metal detector you know it's chill but we all had to go into one room and there was like 300 people in one room there wasn't enough seats for everybody and i don't go out in public much like i will avoid padded areas because you know i'm not agoraphobic but like i definitely have fears and anxiety related to like oh what if something happens and in that specific room there was only one exit so if something bad happened um it would be very hard to get out of said room and there was like a little cubby area outside so like people could go smoke and stuff but the <laughs> it was completely like barred off so like that was not an exit so anyway and there was no like social distancing at all and like keep in mind whenever i go in public i still wear my mask because it's i don't care anymore i don't care like i'd rather just wear it Everybody, you have your own right to conduct yourself at your own will in public, but I choose to. Um, not many people wearing masks. None of the staffers were. Granted, it's 2023, like, pandemic is quote-unquote over, but, you know, people are still- Blue shell! <laughs> people are still being affected. Myself included. Anyway. So only, like, five people wearing masks out of the whole room of 300 people, and there was no social distancing, so you're, like, sitting right next to the people very crowded room and like half the motherfuckers in there okay that's four <laughs> everybody was coughing so i was like uh oh oh no um so like the first thing they did is they played a little video and the video was only talking about like bias it didn't really talk about the actual process of being on jury duty so it was like this is what will happen when you get sorted and then because basically they will divide everybody into groups and then they will bring the groups into the courtroom and then the judge or the plaintiff and defendant will like ask the potential jurors questions that could relate to the case so for example i i obviously can't talk about what case i possibly was involved in or could have been because i didn't get i got filtered out um so like for example if the case is relating to um like a divorce settlement or something they would be like, oh, does anybody in the jury pool, like, have gone through a divorce? Or know of anybody who's gone through this lived experience? And then they will, like, ask you questions about it to see if you are biased. So, what? Oh my god! <laughs> um, so it was very much like you volunteer to speak, and then they will, like, press you to see if you're, like, biased or not. And I was... And they were explaining this in the little, like, 90s video even though the video was filmed in like 2010 but it was shot like a 90s psa training video it was so funny um <clears throat> i was begging in my head i was like giggling i was like chuckling to myself audibly because i was thinking i was like because in the video of course one of their main points was that they're like hey the juries in washington state are like very diverse and of course like in the video they had a bunch of like different poc people which is great we love representation but the problem with the jury pool is previously and the only people who could serve on a jury were property owners so that was typically like white men but that got changed like what a few um decades ago so fairly recently they made that change to where um people who have id can for or can be summoned for jury duty but that also causes a problem because not everybody is required to have a state ID or a driver's license because like if you don't drive you don't need a license and you don't necessarily need a state ID if you have your social security card or birth certificate. Like since there's so many different types of ID, you don't necessarily need to have all of them. But because of that, <laughs> and also in order to serve on a jury trial you have to be a citizen. And you have to be fluent in English, like, you have to be able to understand, like, what all the instructors and the judge is saying. So, there's also, like, that barrier as well for people. So, as I was, like, listening to the video and, like, 
drawing conclusions in my own. Like, I look around the room. A lot of old cis, or I don't know if they're cis, but <laughs> a lot of old white men. And I was like, damn, this is weird. Because in my county, or in, in the city I live in now, it's very, very diverse. Um, white people are the minor minority in my city. So obviously the, the courts are by county. So I still live in a very white county. Which, whatever. But it still was like funny, like watching the video being like, Oh, our juries are so diverse. And then like looking around the room and seeing only like maybe 30 people who were POC. So like 10% of the room were like actual POC. Granted, like half the room were women. So, you know, that was a dub, I guess. But anyway, so I was giggling to myself and thinking in the video, I was like, please, somebody stand up and say I'm biased because I'm racist. Like, that would be the funniest thing to see in the training video. <laughs> I, don't know, I was like cracking myself up because like, I think, I think political humor is really funny. So anyway, they play the video and then they sort us into our groups for the day. So my group got to leave early because they weren't going to do the filtering till Tuesday. So I got to go home early. It was chill. It was cool. And also, since I rode the bus, I got a free bus pass for every day that I got summoned. So, you know, I saved $5. Let's go. But it's also kind of an L, <laughs> because in Washington, for my county, every single day you're summoned, you get paid $10. 10 buckaroos. You can buy, like, a sandwich, maybe, with that 10 bucks. But you get paid 10 bucks for the whole day. You know, if you miss work and you can't claim, like, vacation hours, you're kind of screwed. You know, maybe you won't have grocery money this month. Anyway. So, if you drive, you get, like, a separate credit on top of your $10 for, like, however, my, however, however many miles you have to travel. But since I took the bus, I just got a free bus pass and the 10 bucks. And it takes, like, a few weeks for it to get processed. So, you know what? I'm gonna get 20 buckaroos for my time going to jury duty. <laughs> okay, so that was day one. And I felt kind of silly, because I think I was the only person who asked for bus passes. I think literally everybody else drove. And that's fine. But it was, it was cool, because like, the bus, there's a lot of bus routes in my city, and there was two bus stops that were like fairly close to the court building. So like, it was very accessible, which was nice. 20 bucks is 20 bucks? <laughs> yeah, if you get like a weekly allowance of $10. I, I do generally feel really bad for the people, like the working class people who like have to call out of work. Cause like the legality behind it is that any workplace or employer has to respect your jury summon. But some workplaces will let you use your vacation pay. Some will like let you use your sick hours, maybe. Some will, like, take your jury pay away from you. So basically, if you have a job and you get someone for jury duty, like, you're missing out on, like, one week's potentially of, your, like, your paycheck. And that's kind of an L. Oh, so scary! Uh, anyway, so day two. I get called back. And for some reason, I don't know the reason, there was a delay. So I had to be there at 8.30, but so every single hour they would do roll call. They're like, okay, well, um, the judge isn't ready yet, so we'll check in an hour. So they did that until like 11. So for basically like the first two and a half hours, they're like, oh, well, um, the judge isn't ready, so we're just going to stall for an hour. And then at 11.30, they were like, well, actually, it's break time now for lunch, so you guys get like an hour lunch. So, we actually didn't start the filtering process until, like, 1.30. So, since I can't drive, like, I can only really walk around, like, the local area and get back to the courts within, like, the hour. So, I went out for lunch. It was cool. I got a little uh, cheesesteak sandwich. 15 buckaroos. The guy in front of me didn't have... Because the establishment only took car. They didn't take cash. So, I paid for his lunch. I felt really bad. But then I was like... I spent 30 bucks on food today, half for me. So technically, I have a $10 loss serving jury duty just for buying food. Because, <laughs> you know, hot take. 
If the courts are going to summon you and give you 10 buckaroos a day, they should at least get lunch catered. I think that would be cool. Like, they had, like, vending machines. They had free coffee. Like, instant coffee. But it'd be cool. Just get lunch catered. Like, please. You know, make it, like, elementary lunch where you choose your little lunch for the day in the morning. That'd be cool. Okay, next parade. I'm not even, like, playing it, paying attention to marker. I'm just rambling. I'm yapping. For real? I know. It's so silly. Um, anyway, so they start the filtering process at 1.30. So at this point, like, I've been out in that building for, like, four hours. And, um... <laughs> oh, I forgot to say this earlier. So, you can't you can't necessarily like talk to the other jurors like you can, but you they don't encourage it because they don't want you talking about jury duty or like talking about like the case in between. Like you can talk to the person you're sitting next to and be like, "Oh, good morning," but they don't really encourage much other talking than that. So for the first two hours, as I'm waiting in the room... Oh, also, like, for day two, only, like, 50 people had to report back. Like, not the full 300. Anyway. So, after the first hour, I got bored of being on my phone. I was like, I don't- I'm bored. Like, I need more stimulus than this. So I, I walked up to the lady at the counter. I was like, hey, can I get some, like, paper to draw or something? <laughs> Because I, I genuinely hate wasting my time because I understand that time is very finite and if I'm only getting paid like $10 a day, that's like literally such a waste of time. Like I understand the jury process is important, but it just kind of sucked that for my specific group like things weren't planned out as good as they could have been. And that's whatever, you know, it happens. Oh wow, Wiggler. So the lady behind the counter. <laughs> She was so sweet, she was so nice, because she was also the same lady who like got me my bus tickets and stuff. She was very nice. Um, she she hands me a stack of like 10 sheets of blank copy paper. <laughs> no. I like drawing, but not that much. Like I can't fill up 10 sheets of paper. <laughs> and then she handed me like some pencils that had the erasers like totally shaven off. So and she's like, okay, there's like a side table. You don't gotta stay in your chair if you don't want to. I'm like, okay, cool. So for like the next two hours, this is before lunch. Like I'm just drawing. Cause the way I have, I also haven't drawn in a long time. Cause it's kind of hard to like sit down and create. So like if, I'm sure other creatives can relate to that. Okay, my Mario Kart gameplay is so bad. So bad. I think I'm gonna do football. I'm gonna do one more. Practice one at run at 150cc just so I can learn this bit more. So anyway, so for like the first two hours, I'm drawing, I'm doodling. Hey, second place! And I was sitting at the table like in the front of the room, so like obviously people are like staring at me, but I don't necessarily care too much. Like if people are looking at me because I'm doing something good, then that's cool and chill. But like I was like in my head praying. I was like pleading i was like please somebody come up to me and talk to me like i want somebody to be like oh your drawing is so cool but nobody did for the whole like two to three hours i drew nobody said anything because most of them were old boomers um i'll show the doodles wait i'll show them now i'll show it for the fans editor put this in <clears throat> Wait, I have to see if they leak anything. Now nah, we good. Imagine she gave me like quartz branded paper. Anyway, so the first thing I did was this aloe. I think it's really cool. Cause like when I draw, I will usually start with like a doodle page and then I will work off like something I liked within the page. Um but first thing I did was this little aloe. Like, I was concepting out like a painting. That's really good. Thank you. Guys, I'm an artist. I graduated art school this past month. Or no, this past year. I have separate accounts 
I have a separate Twitch channel as well, so go follow, please. New paintings coming out soon. I had to take a break because it affects my disability eligibility. Anyway, so I did this first. That took an hour. Because when I, because I do abstract work, so like, it's very, I don't, I, I refuse to do realism because I think realism is not fully creative. Anyway, then I did this. I drew my hand. You know, the little K-pop heart. And then this page. Peace. And then I did this because I was doing like this geometric bird doodle. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll I will fine tune it a bit more. So I, I did this. I think this this would be a crazy like full painting like this back here. Ain't no way. Thank you for the follow. Plus one. Thank you. Can we get some yos? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Anyway, so that's what I did. She gave me like a whole stack. Look at that. A whole stack. <clears throat> but I was so sad. Nobody talked to me. I was, I really wanted somebody to talk to me. Because I'm the type of person to where I'm not too social, but if I'm in the mood to be social, like I'll be risen, I'll be chatting. Like, there- okay, there has been a few times where I will- What is this? But why is it not kicking me? That's so silly. Like, there has been a few times where, like, I'm bored, or I'm feeling lonely, and I would just, like, loiter in a coffee shop and just draw, and hope somebody talks to me. Okay, nice. Anyway, so now, I'm like- I'm not good at storytelling, like, I'm not good at telling things in order. So- it's time for them to start filtering us out. So my group had about 40 people. Um, and so she's like, everybody line up in number order. And I was number 27. So I was near the middle. And then so we're all went outside in the hallway. And she's like, does anybody need to use the elevator? <laughs> okay, why am I giving her this voice? What is this? So she's like, does anybody need to use the elevator? Now, I'm disabled. Um, most of my regulars know, but one of my main symptoms is paralysis, so, or numbness and fatigue. So, like, there are many times throughout the day where I struggle to walk. Um, I'm fine now, like, it's not consistent, it's, like, random. Usually on days where I'm more stressed or get less sleep, I do experience more symptoms, but since I was very anxious and stressed <laughs> at jury duty, like, I was like, ain't no way I'm walking down a flight of stairs. I was like... And I was assuming, since most of the people that were in my group were like old farts, that one of them, one of them would volunteer to take the elevator, but nobody did. So she waited a bit, and then I meekly, like, I rose my hand. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she explained, like, exactly where I needed to go, because the, the building had, like, ten floors. So she's like, you need to go to this floor, and then you go down and hit this hallway, and then go into this room. And I was like, okay. And as... Because, like, obviously I'm young, I'm 24, I look able-bodied, but since I don't have a walking aid yet, I don't need one at this time, but, like, I might need one in a year if I don't improve. Um, since I look, quote-unquote, normal, like, everybody was staring at me, and I wasn't necessarily embarrassed, I was just kind of, like, it felt shameful, because I assume most of those adults thought I was just being lazy, and that I wanted to use the elevator, right? Anyway, everybody's staring at me as I, like, walk down the hallway to use the elevator. So, it took, like, five minutes because since the uh, the building is ten floors, like, it took a while to, like, get in the elevator to get to the bottom floor. Anyway, so, I get back to the group once I'm on the second floor and everybody's in line again. Everybody's staring at me. <laughs> so then, they tell the rules of the courtroom. They're like, behave. No tomfoolery. Respect the judge. And then, <clears throat> wave six is out already? Yes, sir! You haven't played it yet? How? Geo, get on it. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Wait. Watch the stream. Keep it open in a new tab. <laughs> this wave is pretty solid. The second pre is really good. Be fine. <laughs> also, hi. Hi, Geo. Okay, so anyway, so we all get into the courtroom, 
It was chill. I thought it came out later today. No, it came out last night. Uh, a different viewer said earlier that it came out at like 6 p.m. yesterday, which I don't know if that's true or not. Classic. Classic. What am I doing? Anyway, so we're all in the courtroom. They're telling the rules again. And I obviously can't say details about the case. Because, you know, I don't... Even if I was allowed to share, because basically the rule is you are allowed to share details of the case. Because it's all public information. Like, trial information is publicly accessible. Um, I still don't think it's appropriate for me to, like, give specific details about the case I could have been assigned to. Because, like, those are real people involved. And I don't want to, like showcase that in my opinion i don't think that's appropriate because like in my opinion if somebody is going through the lengths of suing like there's obviously like a lot of pain and hurt so even if i don't necessarily know the people involved i want to respect that so as we talked about earlier the filtering process the the judge the plaintiff and the defendant will ask questions that kind of relate to the case that could to where they ask people to see if they could have bias. So, um, I'm not gonna say the details, but they were asking like specific questions where like, oh, do you know the plaintiff or the defendant? Do you know the judge? Do you know the companies that they work for? That type of thing. And then they ask more specific questions about like actual details of the case. And one of the more general questions they asked, they were like, oh, does anybody have an injury that they suffered, or does anybody have an opinion about doctors? So, obviously, I'm disabled. So, I was like, I put up my little cue card, because they gave everybody a number cue card, that way you could speak. So I was like, um, now, keep in mind, this is still, like, you're talking in a very small courtroom, when there's like 50 people inside. So obviously, people are gonna be nervous. I was very nervous. Um, <clears throat> So, I was like, I, um, and the lady, this lady, kind of rude. She was, she was not the, I think she was the scribe. Um, so like, you know how in the courtroom when they say on the record, whenever they say on the record, that's where they have to like keep like written documentation of what was said. So that person like has to be able to hear and that's totally valid and fine. But she was like, ma'am, can you take your mask off? In case you did not have that accent. But I was like, um, I can speak up because... Uh, uh, it's like, crowded room 60 people, I'm not taking this fucker off. That's five. <laughs> I'm not taking my mask off. Anyway, so I was like, well, I myself am disabled. Okay, another thing to note, whenever, like, the potential jury pool were, like, answering their questions, Everybody in the room would turn their head and stare at you as you answered. Now, I just might be socially inept, but I personally process things better when I'm not looking at the person speaking. It's because, like, just in general, I I've noticed I have auditory processing issues, so it's very overwhelming if I'm looking at someone who's talking as they're speaking. I don't know, it's weird. Like, when I watch movies, I will put captions on. I would like to clarify, I'm not on the spectrum. My sister is, so maybe I have, like, some of the little genetic code. <laughs> um, so, as, as I'll say again, every time that any of the potential jury pool is answering one of the, like, biased questions, everybody in the room is staring at you. Like, they will physically turn their head to look at you. So if you're sitting in the back of the room, everybody will turn their head behind them. To look at you as you talk so as i'm saying i'm disabled i see so many people in the room have like a look of realization on their face because those are probably the same people in the hallway being like oh why is that little zoomer taking the elevator so that was kind of like nice i was like yeah bozo like don't make assumptions like you don't know other people's lives. So I was like, yeah, I'm disabled, and 
Um, I understand the struggle of... <laughs> Dude, imagine if I talk like that. It would be the funniest thing. I'm not gonna swear. Dude, this sucks. I'm not paying attention. Once I'm done with story times, I promise I'll get good. Um, editor, just put, like, good gameplay as I'm talking. So, I was like, um, I'm disabled. I have, like, I understand the struggle of seeing the doctor and, like, seeing multiple professionals because it is hard to, like, get an opinion sometimes. And, um, I was like, doctors should be trusted. Like, they would never lie. <laughs> and they were like, okay, thank you, Peason, for answering our question. And it was really funny because for any of the questions to where people were giving an opinion, they would always ask at the end. They were like, okay, you think that way. Do you think that will impact your ability to be not biased and remain as impartial? What is this? This is so dumb. This part is so you want And remain impartial one if you were chosen for deliberations. And it's so funny because <laughs> some of the people were like, no, I do not think I can not be biased. And it's like, cool for being honest, but it's like, if you want to get out of jury duty, just say your bias. Easy clap. Just say your bias, and then they will kick you, or they'll dismiss you. It's easy. But I really wanted to serve with a jury. Like, I really wanted to. I thought it'd be really fun. But, so, how it works is once they do all the filtering questions, <laughs> I'm biased AF. <laughs> No! No, okay, genuinely, genuinely. One of the strats is if you're in the court, just say you are a cat, and they will dismiss you like immediately. They don't mess with that. <laughs> oh my god, I got the lag too. <laughs> oh no. Also, welcome in Cosmic. Can we get some yo's? Thank you for waiting to chat. I really appreciate that. Um, we're only in follower 10 men mode, so we don't get hate rated. So thank you for chatting and saying hi. Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. And enjoy the free emotes. What is jury duty even for? Um, the reason why they have public jurors is so... Um, it's so we can... <laughs> How should I say this? <laughs> Um, I'm doing 150cc because I need to, like, genuinely practice these frees. It's so... Here we go. Everybody has a right to a free and just trial. Meaning, like, not only the judge or, like, rich people would determine your fate in any civil or criminal trial. Because <clears throat> if you actually serve on a jury duty, like, you have to interpret it as the law is written. Like, you can't have any bias, you can't, um, like, if you know the people involved, you can't do any form of favoritism in your decision. So, it is very dependent on how the public, specifically the public, will interpret the law, not necessarily lawyers and all the like. So, it's really interesting. Um, <clears throat> um guys, you know what else is interesting? My channel. Follow, please. We need clout. <laughs> if you do your follow, you get cool emotes and you get to tap the chat. Where was I going with my story? Okay, so after the plaintiff and the other guy, I forgot. Plaintiff? Opponent is not the right word. Anyway, so once the lawyers ask all their little questions to see if the potential jury pool is biased, each... Oh, the plaintiff and defendant, that's it. Each plaintiff and defendant will choose three people. Three people from the jury pool they think are biased. And they do not want to serve on the trial. And then the judge will approve the three people they each choose to kick. But they will not share which people they want to dismiss, because you don't want people to get mad. And then once the judge approves it, and then the judge will be like, these are the 12 to 23 people we select for jury duty. And then, like, he'll list off the names. And then everybody else here dismissed. Um, but the judge, was, the judge I had was really chill. He was actually kind of funny. He was like cracking jokes. Anyway, so I got this mix. Oh, another thing that happened. Okay, so the filtering process took like two hours. Because, you know, some people were straight yapping. They, they were yapping. Because, <laughs> you know, 
not saying that people are stupid, but some people are stupid. <laughs> and since a lot of the, the people in my group were old, you could tell some of them were a bit senile. So, you know, they were talking about things not related to the question the judge was asking. <laughs> it was really funny, like, listening to them. Yeah. Are you required to participate in discussion? Um, in the deliberations, I'm not necessarily sure, because I didn't experience that part, but in the filtering, like, yes, you can volunteer to give your opinion, but they will still call on you. Like, it's like in class where the teacher will be like, who knows the answer to question number three? And then she'll, like, pick on a student who doesn't have a hand raised. Like, obviously, because... The reason why they do the filtering bias questionnaire thing before they select the jury is so obviously so they don't have people serve on the jury who will be biased or who know the people involved in the case. And if you don't necessarily talk in that process, then it makes you look kind of sus, <laughs> I think is the easiest way to say it. Because it's either like you aren't, you don't care enough to speak up or maybe you have a bias and you just don't want to vocalize it so they will still press you on it if you don't volunteer to speak i just want to go in sit and wait until i can leave if only it were that easy bucko <clears throat> okay another thing i forgot so the filtering process where they're asking questions about bias between the large group of 40 people it took two hours because it's a lot of people so the judge was like we're gonna take a 20 minute break and he was like, if anybody wants to talk about any concerns or biases with me in private, we can do that during the break. And so like one elderly woman who was the woman sitting next to me, she was like, oh, I would like to speak to the judge in private, please. Like, I have something I don't want to discuss in front of the group of 40 people. And he was like, okay, we'll do it during the break. So during the break, like we were allowed to leave the room, but he was like, you guys can leave or chill, do whatever. Now. When I imagine somebody requesting to share something in private, I assume it's like obviously, like, let's say if it was a case related to a certain trauma. Like, obviously some people don't feel comfortable vocalizing certain traumas, and that should be valid and respected. So I assumed when the judge was like, oh, we get to speak in private, I assumed they would go into like a separate room or something. But no! Um... <laughs> So, there was still like 10 people in the room during break, so the judge was like, well, this is as private as it's gonna get. He's like, you can feel free to share your concern with me now. And in my head, I was like... Because, oh, like, imagine if it was like a case related to assault. Like, obviously, if somebody has that lived experience, I would not want to say that in front of like 40 people. That is not what my case was about, but that's just like a more sensitive example. So, I thought it was very weird how the judge expected this woman to, like, still share her concern in front of, like, ten people. And, like, this lady, bless her soul, <laughs> um, she was, like, really anxious. Like, I could tell that she was really anxious. Um, because she was, like, shaking her seat like she looked distressed the whole time. Um, anyway, so the concern she wanted to bring up, I'm obviously not going to share it, but she was asking for a medical accommodation. Which is totally valid. Um, um, so, but still, like, I feel like she shouldn't have to share that in front of everybody. Um, that just rubbed me the wrong way. But, so he was like, oh yeah, if you need an accommodation, we'll accommodate it, that's fine. He's like, we can do that for you. And she's like, well, I don't want to feel like a burden. And, like, and he was like, no, it's fine. Because, like, legally, since it's a public space and, like, a city establishment, like, they have to accommodate most any reasonable, like, um, accommodation related to, like, disability or, like, health, right? So, anyway, after the lady shares her little tidbit about her accommodation, I turned to her, I'm like, I'm like, you did good, like, I know it was scary, but you did good for sharing. Like, if I would have known, I would have left the room, and she's like, well, thank you, honey. And she's like, I have anxiety. I'm like, me too, me too, boo. <laughs> and then I talked to her for like the rest of break, so like the 15 minutes. And turns out she was from my hometown too. But she was like, yeah, I have anxiety. I didn't want to do jury duty. And I'm like, well, you're here, you're doing great. And I was like, you know, I'm here, I'll keep you company.
But I felt really bad for her. Anyway, so that was like halfway through the filtering process. I'm just jumping all around. So after like the two hours of filtering, so by this point it's like 3.30. So jury duty ends at 4.30, so we have an hour left. So both the plaintiff and the defendant propose the people they want to kick from the group, and then the judge is like, cool. So then they announce like the 12 people they selected, because it, it was a, I think it's called, oh, I think it's called petite jury and then grand jury. Petite is like 12, and then grand is 23. So we had a petite jury, so they only selected 12 people. And the reason why for a jury summons they summon so many people is because like obviously there are people who are going to not show up. There are people who want to request dismissal like if they have like a doctor's appointment or if they have like an emergency. And the final reason is if a significant amount of people that are pulled have bias, they would need ample to fill in the spaces. So since the trial I was assigned to needed 12 people, that's why they pulled 40. And the nature of the trial was a very common occurrence. So obviously, it was a very common lived experience that the trial was about. So potentially, a lot of people they pulled could have had bias. So that's why they had so many people. And I didn't get through because since I was number 27, since jury duty is random, all the numbers are random. So the order we were placed in was random. They, they summoned, or only the first, like, 15 people in front of me got to serve, but then they filtered out three of the 15, so therefore ending with the, with the 12. Because the, the three people they filtered out were the people in the questioning phase to where they were, like, very biased. <laughs> like, just the way that they spoke was, like... At the end, they were like, well, I think I could, like, be fair and true, but I might be biased still. So obviously they got filtered out. But I was kind of disappointed. I was like, dang. I spent like eight hours this week just waiting to do nothing. Only to get filtered out. So I was like, damn. But it was still a really good experience. I think it was not fun, but I still can say I've done it. Because like I'm 24. Not many young people serve on a jury. Because just like odd-wise, the majority of older people will be in the jury pool because they've lived longer, they've had IDs longer. So, you know, even if it was an inconvenience, I still got to experience part of the process. The only kind of demerit is that once you're summoned, like once you attend summons or any of the filtering process, you cannot be summoned again for a year. And then if you actually do get to serve on a jury trial, you don't get summoned potentially for the next three years. So, if I want to be the judge, juror, and executioner, I have to wait a year. Yeah, so that was my jury duty experience. Even though I, I didn't get to serve, I was so bummed out. Oh, okay. So, another character <laughs> that I interacted with. So, the guy sitting like in front of me in the actual courtroom. He had big Redditor energy, <laughs> like, I cannot describe. And I could like see his phone, and he was using Discord. <laughs> I was like, oh no, he's one of those guys. And this was, this guy, he got filtered out because whenever he got questioned about the bias questions, he would be like, well, I do not think I will be biased, but I cannot guarantee that I can be fair. So obviously he got skipped. Like, he didn't get put on the trial. And, like, as he was walking out of the room, he was, like, grumbling to himself. He was like, erg. He was like, man, I'm really bummed out I didn't get to serve on the trial. And so, like, he started talking to me as we're walking out of the building. He's like, yeah, you know, I was kind of bummed at first, but, like, I really want to serve now. And he's like, it sucks that I got filtered. Because he's like, it's hard to, like, say, to think you're not biased, but then actually be biased. He was like, he was like I understand it, but I'm still, like, upset that I got filtered out. Because his number was, like, 12, so he got... He was in the first, like, 15, but he got filtered out, so he was, like, really upset. <laughs> I don't know, it was really funny. I'm just glad that I didn't have to go for another two days, because, like, legit, I was bedridden on Wednesday, like, up until noon, because, like, 
It was a lot of standing up and sitting down, and like, it was just like a lot of mental stress for me. So like, I was just in bed all day. Cause like, my legs were just not working. So like, if I had to go on Wednesday, I would have not been good. I would have been unwell. But you know, what did I get out of this experience? I, I will get 20 bucks. A check in the mail in like, what, three weeks? And I can say I got summoned, and now I know what to expect whenever it happens again. Ooh, shortcut? I'm also kind of lucky because since I don't have any outside obligations, I don't necessarily have to worry about like missing work or missing out on pay. In serio? The only thing is that I had to reschedule a doctor's appointment, so that was kind of a no, but that'll be next week. And I felt really bad because like I literally just scheduled that doctor's appointment and then I got my jury duty summoned in the mail. So I had to call them and be like, hey, I have to cancel my appointment. Because like what is kind of BS in my opinion is if you get summoned for jury duty and then you don't go, depending on what state and also, oh, oops. Depending on what county you live in, you either get jailed or you get fined. I think in my county, there's no fine, you just get jailed <laughs> if you don't show up. And because that means like, because when you get summoned, like when you get the, your little card in the mail, you have to log in online or call a number saying you will go to jury duty. So if you call and report that you will go and then you don't go, that's when you get in trouble. So, kiddos, if you ever get summoned for jury duty, just go. Take the L. Experience it. Try to make the best of it. Oh, okay, one last thing. So, you know how I said I was the only person who used an elevator? <laughs> um, I went back and found the worker who escorted us to the courtroom. I was like, hey, genuinely thank you for, like, not saying anything. Like, nobody teased me or anything. Nobody said anything when I used the elevator. I was like, I'm disabled. And she's like, honey, don't worry about it. Nobody cares. Or, okay, she didn't say that. <laughs> she implied that with her tone. But she's like, it's okay. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I was like, thank you. She was really nice. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, story time over. Now ask me anything. How long... Dude, I was yapping for 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, jury duty story time over. Editor, you can cut here. Oh my god, I have to do thumbnails! Oh no. How am I gonna do this? Okay. My hair is so bad now, though. Okay. <laughs> what face should I make? <laughs> Wait. Since Paulina is... Since Paulina is cross-eyed, should I do cross-eyed? <laughs> I'm just gonna do gas. I'm gonna do gas. Okay, thumbnail. Editor? <laughs> I don't know what to do. I usually don't do thumbnails live. I think I'm gonna start doing them live because I think it's funny. It also makes it easier when editing because it's in the same file. Wait, wait, wait. I want to Google. YouTube thumbnail faces. <laughs> okay, okay. I think my, my go-to is like, classic, gasp. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. Back to games. <laughs> okay, I'm done yapping. I will actually play the game now.
Oh yeah, last thing about jury duty. You cannot stop. The hardest part was like not talking about it. Cause I would come home and my sister would be like, oh, what do you do today? And I'm like, well, I can't talk about it. But still very fun. Okay, I do think this is the best music from this creep. <laughs> Her taunts are so funny. See you next time! CC is so slow. I went grocery shopping this morning before stream. And it's currently November 9th. You know, Halloween just ended. And I think it's so funny how whenever you go to any shop, everything is just instant Christmas mode. Ornaments. Reads everywhere. Now, at my local shop, they have like the holiday aisle, so for Halloween they had a bowl of candy. But now that aisle is filled with just like Christmas candy, oh my god. I'm a sucker for any peppermint chocolate. And I usually don't buy like the gift boxes of chocolate for people because they were always too expensive. But I go to like a discount grocery store, so like normally. A $20 box would be like $10. It's not Costco before anybody asks. So I was like, damn, maybe I should get everybody chocolate this year. And then, if they don't like the chocolate, then I can have it. <laughs> but I think my all-time favorite chocolate during Christmas time is the Ghirardelli eggnog flavor. Oh my god, it is so good. Nothing beats it. I'm also not gonna buy eggnog this year because it's... <laughs> it's so unhealthy. It's so not good. Last year, I made eggnog with a friend, and it came out clumpy. It was lumpy. So we're gonna try again this year and do it better. And I know chat was asking for an advent calendar. I did buy one. So now that I bought an advent calendar, I don't have to prep little trinkets and gifts for myself on my own. Okay, I'm gonna try hard. Easy. Okay, this part for sure will get confusing if I do 200 CC today. in my misery. Thank you. <laughs> Stop! I'm gonna laugh at you one day, mother. Can I, okay, can I call you Electra? I don't know why I called you mother by default. If you want me to keep calling you mother, I will. You know, I think Pauline's gonna be my new maid. I like her a lot. Whichever, I don't care. Okay, I'll call you Electra. Because <laughs> I 
I don't want people to hear me say it mother all the time. <laughs> okay, back in first, easy. Classic. Okay, so this turn you have to break a lot. <clears throat> I think the underwater path, I don't know if it's necessarily faster, but it's a lot more fun than the top ice path. Now that I think about it, I think Pauline in itself is like an Easter egg. Because I don't think any game has like gone too in depth about her lore. Like all her little taunts so far in the game are just like the Easter eggs you'll see in other games. How do I unlock her dress? I want it. Watch it be like a paid $50 DLC for a dress. And you know what? I would buy it. You know, I love supporting big business. <laughs> okay, I genuinely think the games that do charge for like DLC skins are such a scam. Like, I, I get the appeal, but I will never pay for that, genuinely. You just have to use a car instead of a bike? No way! You're lying. Oh wait, I guess- okay, that makes sense. It would be kind of hard to ride a bike in a skirt. I don't think Nintendo would like that. Okay, I'll try that. But I hate riding cars. I genuinely- I cannot handle a car anymore. Oh wait, so do all the other princesses have dresses if they're in carts? Did I just never realize that? Yes? Dude, I'm clueless. I I I dead ass. That's six. I think the last time I drove a cart was like a year ago. And that was for like a silly moment. I was like, guys, you can choose my build. But then I only did that for like 15 minutes because like I cannot drive a car. I can't do it. And if I get one more comment saying inside drift skull emoji, I'm gonna be so mad. Why does it why is everybody hating? I do think it's funny because whenever I repost clips to like YouTube or TikTok, it's not necessarily gameplay focused. Like 99% of the clips I post are just like me telling little stories or jokes. It's not about Mario Kart. Like I'm not a Mario Kart tips channel. But whenever I have a clip pop off, I get a good handful of people in the comments being like, inside your skull emoji or do better scrub. And it's like, it's Mario Kart, I don't care. I don't care! And like you're commenting on a video that's not live, so it's like you're not helping me! You just sound like you're not, you're so- it's so annoying when people comment that type of thing. Like part of me is like hoping they're trying to be helpful, but then I know they're just like being snarky online. Which I have tried my best to not be snarky online. It is getting more and more difficult though. Because there are some days where, like, I want to pop off. Like, if somebody says offhanded, I'm like, Ooh, I want to get him! I want to try and race you, you know? I don't- I obviously don't have the clock for that yet. But then it's like... 
what will me being snarky or being kind of rude gonna accomplish? Like, yeah, maybe they were kind of rude first, but then it's like, but I'm not being a good person. Because I don't have the belief that you should try and be a better person. Like, obviously if somebody is hurting your feelings, you should have the right to clap back. Pop off. But, I think it's more about like, are you going to be happy with yourself if you respond negatively? Because like, yes, it might feel good in the moment to like, be like, ooh, I got him, I roasted him. But then, is that gonna stick with you? Because I've noticed the times where I've tried to have like good faith responses to like the kind of like snarky or morbid comments, those will stick with me. Like, I, I can't remember the specific instances, but like I, I try to be nice. Like I said, if it's an instance where like they're being snarky and I try to respond nicely, it I've just learned it's better to just delete those comments. Like. Because I get a good handful of like people being offhanded, like, like, oh, you know, woman bad at game, or you are fat. Like, they're not saying that, but that's what they're implying. Like, I personally had to block the word salad from my YouTube comments for that reason. Because, you know, I would be like, oh, a lot of people would be like, oh, she, she don't look like she eats salads. Like, shit like that. That's seven. Um. Anyway, so... I've learned it's just best to delete anything that's negative or snarky. It's just not worth it. Because if it's deleted, then it's like literally out of my mind. And if I can't go back to the comment thread or section and see it, then it's literally gone. Don't bother me no more. And that's why like I'm also a firm believer, even if it's like content not related to me, like I will not engage negatively. Like... <laughs> I know it's very fun to get owned when you're like retweeting or like replying to people on Twitter, but I just, I don't do that. It's not helpful, like obviously the person who made the initial post that you're roasting is not gonna learn from that reply. They're not gonna change their mind. It's probably just gonna make them more vindictive. So at this point, I don't feel the need to engage negatively. on getting the Wii set up so later this month in November probably in the final week so like the week of Thanksgiving and then the week after we're gonna do Wii games for the whole rest of the month after next week because I want to play Suica game tomorrow and then finish Mario Wonder and then maybe finish Paranormal Side. I'm trying to figure out if I want oh I obviously want to finish Detective Pikachu but like nobody watches it Wii games will go crazy yes sir you know what else goes crazy ads guys we are another hour into stream it's time for me to run some ads you can avoid that ad by subscribing for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long or you can link your amazon prime to your twitch and hashtag sub for free with prime click subscribe see if you have a prime sub available get some water get a snack i will see some of you guys in a few i also gotta grab more water so i will be right back I'm back. I I remembered because I have two tumblers. Hashtag we hate Starbucks. Boycott. Uh, I just I just like the cups. Uh, I have two, so I have another full cup. I am good. Dude, it's weird being in 30 frames per second. I don't like it. How did I stream in 30 FPS before? Also, I changed my color balance so I don't look red on camera anymore. Also, look at this. It came in the other day and I hate it. I also don't do any face washes, so it's my fault. Okay, plan is simple. Um, I'll probably stream for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna do some classic online. The rule is simple. If I get first in online, chat gets a gifted sub. Fingers are not crossed. 
If I get first, chat gets a sub. Two star? Skip, skip! Okay, thank god. I was like, how- please be skippable. Classic piece in content. Okay, my rank went up a little bit because I played offline like a week ago. So, about that- wait, did we make a bet? Wait, did- wait, wait. Find the clip. Hi, Vengeance. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Welcome in. All right. Did I make a bet? Oh, what's the bet? Like, if Toad's Factory is not in the DLC, I will give you guys a million subs. Is that what I said? Why did I choose Ninja? I hate Ninja Hideaway. Prediction. Okay. Prediction is up. First place at all today. I'm probably gonna play for like 30 minutes. Do you guys think I will get first at all? Go Gamba. If Pauline comes to mark her, I'll delete my channel. Did I actually say that? <laughs> Did I? Uh, no way. Did I actually say that? I'm so dumb. <laughs> guys, it's over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no way I said that. Dude, I'm so dumb. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> now, I assume you played Vengeance. Which, which DLC um, pre did you like best in this wave? I like the spiny cup a lot. Not blue shot. Okay, I don't like Peach's outfit. The Wii Rainbow Road is your absolute favorite? Well, it is one of my favorites too. It's definitely a lot easier with the switchboard. <laughs> like, I remember I would fall I would fall up almost every turn when I played on the Wii. Dude, I'm in the last place! <laughs> no. I'm changing characters. Peach is bad luck. Oh, her animations are so cute when she's kicking her legs. I hate this track so much, even the CPU is fall off on 200cc. I don't like this one. Like, the beginning and ending are fine, but the middle section where the, like, the the track goes up on that floor from I hate it. I fall off most every time. Where <laughs> that guy fell off? They got ratioed. Yes, I have played Pauline and she's my favorite. Yeah, her her like trick animations and the like her little taunts are so cute. She she might become my new main. I love Rose Gold Peach, but Pauline, holy moly! played on the Wii version, like, my main was Funky Kong, but that's because I liked his animations a lot. But I don't think I could ever play a heavy set character in Equilux. <gasps> okay, not final six. I'll take it. I'll take it. Guys, go Gamba. Do you think I will get first at all today? Go Gamba. <clears throat> I don't want to waste your time. Oh my god, is that Matt the boxer? Ain't no way. 
Oh, also Kobobo, I'll probably do the follower general calligraphy and then sketch card next week or this weekend if I have time. If you're lurking. If not, then I know you watch the bots. Waste your time. Can we get any believers, please? I'm good at Mario Kart. Oh, wait, Dolphin Shoals? I'm decent at. Wait. You know, I gotta use some, like, positivity in the chat. I I'm good. Stream ends when I get first, just so the doubters will lose all their points. <laughs> when I was in junior high and high school, I was very much the hipster type. I just didn't know what the word for I hate things that are mainstream. Apparently, I was a hipster. And I very much held that sentiment up until, like, I started using the internet more. Like, during pandemic, I was like, oh, I don't care if I like mainstream things. It's whatever. And one of the things I still did not like was, like, TikTok songs. Because they were so annoying. Like, how the trends would be like, oh, use five seconds of the audio and that's it. So, for the longest time, I never heard the actual, like, full songs of the TikTok sounds. And... A song that I thought was really pretty was um, Mine by Brazi. Like, I, it came up in my YouTube recommended randomly like two weeks ago, and I sat and listened to it. I was like, oh my god, this is like so pretty. And then when I recognized the TikTok sound part, I was like, oh no, I hate this. But then, I think it was an environment because like, I was on the bus at like 6 a.m., so I saw the sunset. So that kind of like made it contributed to like the ambiance of the song. But. I don't know. I, I have to, like, not put off things immediately, I think. Because, like, I didn't watch a lot of, like, classic shows for that reason, too. I didn't watch The Office until, like, two years ago. Because I, I just hated things that were mainstream. I'm gonna have to go back and watch your reaction. I'm actually gonna edit today's stream into a YouTube video, so... You can go back in the VOD, but if, there will be an edit on my YouTube channel on Saturday. So, um, somebody in chat, type exclamation YouTube in chat. That way he has the link. Oh my god, I'm, I'm in 11. I'm just yapping. I need to stop yapping. Th that's like... I get so annoyed when viewers, not you guys, but viewers in general will, will complain online. They're like, oh, the streamer doesn't talk. They just play games, they don't talk. And it's like, bitch! Bitch is not a curse word that is able to be not censored. And it's like, bitch, you try play game and talk the whole time. It's very difficult. You know, moving your hands and your mouth is very hard at the same time. But I'm very good at it. Ladies. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> No, it was like genuinely difficult. <laughs> that's like when you see all the Valorant streamers, they just they don't say shit. Oh, that's eight. Dude, I've cursed so much. My curse streams bring out the worst in me. And also the worst gameplay. Mods change the title. <clears throat> Even in forever. It's so funny to me whenever I see me's with the dreadlocks haircut. Because that's the hair my mom and my sister would give my me's when I was little. Like, when we played on the Wii together. And that's because, like, I legit had dreadlocks. But that's because, like, 
my mom didn't teach me how to take care of my hair, so it would just be matted. Which is not dreadlocks. Like, that's... Matted hair is totally different. <laughs> but, once I got to, like, high school, I learned how to take care of my hair. And it's healthy now. Oh, I, I thought this was the Wii Rainbow Road and I got really excited. I'm not talking. I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna prove my point. I could have gotten a fourth, maybe a third, because when I had the triple green, I accidentally redeemed the red shell, so hit the same person, I actually snapped the person with the green shells, and then I could have utilized my mushroom better. Dude, I could have gotten third. See, I just need to shut up. Oh, wait, I think somebody DC'd. I think Peach's voice is different for this character model. Classic. <laughs> I'm gonna do Pauline, my queen. Here we go. Ew, we're spectating. Is this how you guys feel watching me play? <laughs> I genuinely wonder if anybody who watches me- Because I know majority of my viewers watch because they like what I do. And then a small handful of people watch because they like Mario Kart. <laughs> I, I genuinely wonder if anybody's like sitting there with a little notepad being like, Hmm, she could have utilized that item better. Ooh, that line was kind of bad. Ooh, that was a really good cut. I wonder if anybody's like- Doing little commentary in their head. <laughs> Me? Which one? No, can I ask, Electra? It says you've been following for over a year and you've only chatted today. Can I ask why if you feel comfortable answering? And why did you subscribe? Not often we get first time chat messages who subscribe. Hi, Rockhead. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Welcome in. Oh my god, this guy's in first? He was in six earlier. How? They're hacking. Or this is the greatest comeback story in all of America. Wait, they're from the UK. In all of the UK. I'm thinking of buying your art for a present for my sister. Really? Oh, that's so sweet. I appreciate that. Really? Oh, oh, that's really cute. Thank you. I will have more paintings probably out in like January. And I am concepting out new designs right now. The only reason why it's been on pause is because like 
I can't promote it too much. Like, I can't make more than... I can't sell one more than one painting a month, technically, so... But thank you, that's really sweet, Rockhead. It was for Christmas? Oh! Don't- you can order it! I haven't sold a painting this month, so we're in the clear. <laughs> we are in the clear. I- I- uh, I've only sold one painting, and that was back in April. No way this guy got first. Ain't no way. This guy's cracked. I usually don't have time to watch and I was bored today. Well, I'm glad you got to hang out today. You know, the fates were aligned. But if you, Rocket, if you are genuinely gonna order for Christmas, you should order soon. Because just in general, like postage takes longer during this time of year. Like, I know my local USPSs and UPSs are hiring a lot of temp workers for the season. For that reason. I kind of want to put my hair up. Then I don't. I'm gonna put my hair up. Imagine it picked Boo Lake. Imagine. Okay. Dialed in. Ooh, perfect boost? Oh, I forgot to choose the car. I'll try a car just to see her dress. Okay, I'm back to talking now. I'm a personality streamer, damn it. Ooh, perfect. When I was like 12 or 13, my grandma took my family on a cruise. And the only thing I remember from the cruise is that it was from Washington to Alaska. So that was cool. And then I remember like part of the buffet, they had like ice cream soup, which is basically like liquid ice cream. And it was really good. Like those are legit the only two things I remember from that trip, <laughs> unfortunately. So because of that, I personally really like the texture of like melted and then refrozen ice cream. I know it like ruins the creaminess or the body of the ice cream, but if ever I have to go to the shop and I buy ice cream and it takes me a bit longer to get home, you know it's fine if I come home and it's melted. I don't know if anybody else likes it. I could just be a freak. Ooh, cut. Okay, watch this. <laughs> Dude, I'm... <laughs> just, just say the race is over. Get him next time. Sure you will. It is very sad <laughs> seeing like in my head. Like I'm playing and then like half the lobby has like less rank than me. I'm just rusty. I got a comment the other day on TikTok and it was saying, Do you ever get tired of Mario Kart? And I was like, no. I play once a week, like max. I don't think I could play any game every day. I think that's a big reason why I got burnt out of like the the life sim esque games like Animal Crossing. I played Cozy Grove for a hot minute a few months ago. But whenever I have to play a game every day or something that's like daily login benefits, then it feels like a chore. It feels like a job. Or not a job. <laughs> More of I think chore is the better word. Uh, 
I'm in. I'm really good at Big Blue. Surely I'll win. Stream ends when I get first. I personally don't like anti-gravity levels. Like the, oh, the genuine only good thing about them is that when you ram into somebody, you get a little boost. Otherwise, anti-gravity is a big L. Oh my god! First place Clippers, please! Mushrooms at the wrong time. I know I am. I'm just doing them to be spiteful. Surely I can get first. Ninth. I had first for like literally one second. Oh, she looks so upset. Oh no. <laughs> if it's Daisy Circuit, I will win. No joke. Lobby. There's so many nerds. So many people with glasses. I do think it's hilarious that one of the older tropes that people who have glasses are smart and nerdy. I genuinely don't understand it. That's supposed to be Naruto in the back? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I never Naruto or Dragon Ball Z when I was little for so whenever I always get the names mixed up so when you said Naruto I was thinking like the guy from Dragon Ball with the spiky black hair I was like no that guy's yellow hair silly you know add that to the list of things you can cancel me for didn't watch Naruto Okay, watch this. Wow. Oh my god, they're plates? Hold. Take that. Okay, I think the path that had the little speed bumps on the ground is not much faster. Oh, that's dirt. Weird. Oh my god, first place? Wait, stream ends when I get first. Classic. You know, one time when I say stream ends, I get first, I will get first. And today is not the day. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you see, I think only getting the speed boost on the first one is good. And Serio? Dude, everybody's stream snapping. Are you in my lobby type one? Okay, watch this. Okay, sixth place, this is salvageable. Okay, not anymore. Stay away! And Shadio, dude, I could have gone third! Oh my god! Okay, I don't know why I'm doing like the little dweeb voice more. Just because I think it's funny. That, that's not my- This is my real voice. Th this is not my voice. This is my real voice. Damn, I, I could have clutched. Stream ends when I get first. I can do it. I said, um, I'll stream for another 30 minutes. I'll give myself another 30 minutes. I will surely, surely get another first. Unless... Also, everybody, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cooling notes, and you get to type in chat. Wow. Can we hit our daily goal? We already got one follower today. Let's go. Okay, I'm cracked in this tree. <laughs> this tree. This trap. Easy. Watch this. Ah, oh, dang. I think I have gotten better about correcting myself. Oh my god, first place, Clippers? Clippers? I, I just can't have anything nice. Wow, first to 11th, they just gave me an extra one. See you next time. <laughs> See you next time. Okay, her taunts are really funny. <laughs> Give me a uh, bow bill. I've caught up. It is still wild to me how in Mario Kart all you need is one item and you can advance so quickly. It's like unfair, but I feel like it's needed. Because that's what makes it so addictive. You know that winning is difficult, but it also can be in anybody's grasp at any given point in time.
Doubters in shambles. They are shaking in their boots. Because usually if I get top three... Okay. Now. I must think strategically. I am good at Mushroom Gorge. I've had a handful of streams where I've gotten first in Mushroom Gorge. The infamous stream ends when I get first. I literally got Mushroom Gorge as the first race and I got first. So I beat that run in five minutes. Um, New Bowser City is really difficult online. I'm decent at it. Water Park, easy. I'll do Mushroom Gorge. I'm actually pretty good at all three of these tracks. Ooh, I can do it. In serio, oh my god. London loop? I mean, it really did throw me for a loop. It was really, literally three tracks I was like good at. Okay, I'm not gonna talk. I, I generally need to hold my loop. Three mans when I get first. Take that. Sorry, a coin when I was in third? Really? Nintendo? Just be a jerk. I was in third, bozo. Since this is technically the last way the, of the DLC, the thing that I have noticed is that usually on DLC days, there's a obviously a massive influx of players. So it's gonna be people who are like cranked and who like wanna learn the tracks and the people who are like so dog shit. <laughs> like it's people who play like once every never. Like actually picking up the game again. So I usually find whenever I play on Dave's that the DLC comes out, I find that I depend on what time of day, I think. Because usually when I stream, it's in the morning, so it's a lot of more adults playing, in my opinion. I find that I lose more, but when I go and play in the evening, I get a lot more dubs. So that's when all the kiddos come from school. Okay, wait. I have an insane lead. I don't see any blue shell yet. Near. The end is near. I also have a bub on. Okay, that turn always gets me. Nice try, Bozo. I have a... It passed me, huh? Wait, how? Oh, I I promise I'm not cheating. I promise. I am a what up girl. Yes, sir. Guys, I got a dub. You know what that means? I get dead stream. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Moment of truth? Look at her. So beautiful. That was fun. And I'm out. Also, guys, I would never lie. Since I got first, chat gets a sub. The first non-subscriber to type in chat will get a gifted sub from yours truly, your favorite streamer. Peace in. Also, will I get first at all? Okay, it took me... It took me 37 minutes. That's not bad. That's only 7 minutes over my initial guess. Did I get first? Yes, sir. Screw the doubters. You guys literally lost all your points. Take the L. 
first non-sub to chat gets a gifted sub from your favorite streamer. He's in. Okay. Um, short stream. I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Don't worry, we get to do calligraphy because we did get a prime sub today. Pog you. You can also use your channel points now. Right training. Before I go, I will be streaming again tomorrow. Suica game. First time ever playing Suica watermelon game on stream. I've watched literally so much of Ludwig and all the other big boys play it. I'm gonna play it for myself. Nine to five, working a real job tomorrow. So I will be live at nine a.m. Ending at five thirty. Sweet a game all day tomorrow. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. But you guys will watch with me, right? You're gonna go crazy with me? Okay. Let me get my calligraphy journal set up. Thank you all for watching. Chatting, lurking. It feels good to be back. Calligraphy time. It does feel weird not streaming for a few days, but it was nice to take a little bit of a break, even though I technically worked and did jury duty for two of those days. Wait, no! Three of those days. Let's get some real music on. Ooh, Mario Wonder music. I found three different- three new comps. Let's do this one. This one is the nostalgia playlist you should listen to. There she is. You know the drill, if you subscribe, donate, or cheer bits, I will write your name, or you can use your channel points. I'll write your name for free, if you're broke, like me. Okay, so we got one Prime subscription today. So if you put an emote in chat, it shows on screen. So good, thank you. So first time we get to see your name in here. Did you get gifted previously? I'm so lucky. But genuinely, thank you for the prime sub. We love prime subs. And I'm glad we got to chill today. Yeah, we do calligraphy every stream. Thank you for redeeming cool Bobo.
<laughs> Wait! The emotes move now! They didn't used to do that! Wait, pause. Ain't no way. Cause you know how before they used to just be stills? Oh my god! They updated the overlay. I used stream elements for this overlay, the emote thing. That's so cool! They used to not do animated- Oh, that's so cool! Once again, thank you to Electra for the Prime sub, 3 month resub. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for the Prime. We heckin' love Prime subs. So thank you. Enjoy your emotes. Okay, now time for the Brokey Journal. If you broke, use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. Oh, we have to skip the song. That one gets copywritten. Thank you, Kobobo. Uh, let's go. If you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Last call. You guys have 10 seconds. Also, if we have a non-sub type in chat, you get a sub. That's only redeemable for today. I will not do IOUs. Mm -mm. So, I think that wraps up stream for today. Thank you all for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? I yapped a lot. But, I did get a first place in Mario Kart. So, it wasn't for nothing. Um, I will be live again tomorrow with Suica Game. Playing Suica Game for the first time ever. Oh, see you later. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah, see you later, hon. <laughs> you don't gotta highlight your message. I'll read it. Dude, I can't. I'll be live again tomorrow with Suica Game 9 to 5, streaming all day tomorrow, working a real job on Fridays as normal. If you need more Peace in underscore 17 content, make sure you are following my or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a main channel with weekly stream highlights and a clips channel with daily YouTube shorts and clips. Go subscribe to both. And if you aren't already, follow my social media at Peace in 17 on Twitter, at Peace in underscore 17 on Instagram. I post sometimes. I also do go live tweets on Twitter and Instagram because I know Twitch notes aren't the best. So follow there too. I had fun. We are back in business. No other obligations besides next week of a doctor's appointment. We are back to business, guys. Plan for November. Um, sweep a game tomorrow. And then the final two weeks of November will be We Games. We game November. <laughs> there's, no, there's no alliteration there. Oh, also, I didn't mention this earlier, but Wolves, I, I think I said this last week already, but Wolves had the most and best clips during the month of October, so Wolves, you will be getting another gift card. And if you watch the VOD, whisper me, and if I don't get a response, I will whisper you. <laughs> I know Wolves watches the Mario Kart VODs. <laughs> I don't know if he watches till the end though. People, hey. Um, what else? What else? Hmm. Peace out too. Hmm. Yeah, that's the plan. New YouTube video out Saturday. Oh yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow at nine sharp. Be there. Can't be late to work. Okay. Bye guys. I had fun. Bye bye.
Yeah, nobody's live. That's like the kind of bad thing about streaming in the midday. Nobody's live. But it's when I have the most energy. And also, it's weird streaming when like everybody's home in the house. It's awkward. Once again, thank you to Electra for subscribing. New sub! Dang, now I gotta edit today's stream. Cause I won't have time to edit tomorrow since I'm doing a full day. But editing is fun and chill. Okay, bye guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.